Look, this isn't what it looks like, okay? I can explain. Don't go telling people that I'm only a good gamer because I cheat. Because one, nobody's going to believe you because they've seen my videos before and they know I'm not a good gamer. And number two, there's actually a really good reason for this wall hack. The game kind of forces you to cheat. Welcome back to the channel gamers, my name is Tacti. Today, I'm gonna to show off something that hardly anybody else in the gaming sphere has had any knowledge of until right now. So you can consider this the exclusive launch of the marketing campaign for a game called Assault Sector. Recently, they reached out to me and wanted to sponsor a video talking about them, but I said, look, I've gotta get my hands on this game first before I put my branding behind anything like this, especially one that has a mechanic that you can see through walls. So I grabbed a few creator friends of mine whose videos you might see popping up today and we got into a play session. And as you can probably tell, this video is sponsored by the Assault Sector team, so uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun. Thank you for sponsoring this video. And keep in mind as you see this background footage here, the build that we played was about a year old. So many things have changed here and been tweaked, but the reason they wanted to put us on an old build even is because they wanted to show off the framework and the core gameplay mechanics of this game and sort of explain that a little bit more because a wall hack is a very interesting thing to put in a game. So they wanted to show us how that works in the gameplay. A lot of things are gonna be updated now with the game and you can see some of that footage over there on their Steam page, but I wanted to talk about the core mechanics here. So let's talk about this wall hack and how it's implemented. This wall hack is an ability that every single player has in the game. And the purpose of it is to stop one thing that every gamer has done and will continue to do, but also hates when it's done to them. Camping. This is a camper's worst nightmare. If you think that you can just go sit in a corner and wait for other gamers to run across your path, well, you've got another thing coming, bucko. <laughs> All right, the way it works here. Upon spawning into the map, you get one wall hack ping, which in the game is known as a pulse. This sends a ping of about 40 meters from the player, but that can be extended depending upon what class the player has chosen to run. But a few different things happen when you activate this pulse. First of all, it's only active for a short amount of time. This may be tweaked a little bit depending on that community input, as this game will release in early access, but it doesn't last forever. Next thing you're going to need to know is that when you activate that ping, you become a red dot on the minimap, so the enemy can pinpoint your location that way. While you may have somewhat of an advantage here, after activating that ping, there's still that little bit of info that your enemy has to either avoid you or combat you. Now, each player gets one pulse when they spawn. Throughout the game, they can earn more as they get more kills or during gameplay by capturing some objectives. So the game really is pursuing that continual push mentality. So there's not a lot of downtime. Again, there's not a lot of sitting in corners here. Instead, just intense combat with modern weapons. Speaking of weapons, for this build, unfortunately, there weren't a whole lot of weapons, mostly just placeholders, and the customization was very limited. But again, this is a year old build, and it doesn't have everything that they will have in the game. But there are going to be a lot more weapons in the final build there, as well as a lot better customization. But the weapons themselves felt pretty good. The recoil could be pretty high, not uncontrollably high, but the recoil patterns felt good. The map you see in the background is a very small map, but they're creating much larger maps for those of you that wish to run a sniper rifle or a little bit longer DMR engagements. <laughs> this map was basically just a meat grinder to get a feel for some of the mechanics. This is also some concept art here. This is the style that they want to go for, what they're sort of pushing for when it comes to the visual aesthetic to the game. A little bit more futuristic, but also grounded a little bit more in those modern weapons. Now there is gonna be a class system where some of the weapons are going to be restricted to these classes. They're expected to have five different classes upon launch. So they're gonna have their own special perks and abilities and weapons. And obviously these will accommodate different playstyles. But in these environments, there will be several different game modes. We only got our hands on TDM and free for all, but there's gonna be a few different game modes such as search and destroy and domination, you know, the typical first person shooter modes. They're gonna see how people respond to these first before they move on to anything like adding vehicles or anything like that. Now, some tertiary information here. No SBMM, no skill-based matchmaking. The game is initially going to be for casuals, but they may add some sort of ranked play down the road at some point. But even though it's for casuals, it'll be running on 100 tick rate servers, which means ideally they'll have some fantastic hit reg. Now we were playing with such high ping from everyone, so our hit reg was sort of up and down, but again, that's up to like 250 ping. So you're hopefully not gonna find that much when the game launches. Over on their YouTube channel, there's actually 10 full minutes of gameplay with those 100 tick rate servers. I guess it's just an in-house style of gameplay. So you can see how smooth the game actually runs when all the gamers aren't scattered on four different continents. What they're also very proud of with this game is optimization. 
In our match, when we uncapped our frames, it made it easy to get 250 to 300 frames. And even with an old build like this, that's really good. My assumption is that with the increased textures and lighting and stuff like that, those are going to drop just a little bit upon the release. But 250 on my RTX 39 this early is really good. Speaking of release here, they're aiming for the game to release quarter one of 2024. And at launch, the plan is to be priced at about $14.99 US dollars. In my opinion, just from the gameplay, that's going to be a solid start for this game. The game is linked down below, so you can check out the game, wishlist it, check out their Twitter, hop into their Discord, because they're actually going to be playtesting this game along its development. So if you want to get into those and you really want to see what this wall hack experience is like, you definitely have to check those out. Now, as far as release goes, it may take some time getting used to. This is a pretty unique concept, but we had a lot of fun in our hour and a half of playtests. The wall hack is definitely an interesting dynamic and I was very skeptical at first when I saw this, but there are some balancing things in place that prevent it from being too overpowered. My biggest problem with the minimap balance aspect in general is that I always forget to check the top of my screen. It used to be when I had a console that it would be easily accessible and I was just playing on a television and I could almost see everything in the minimap in the corner of my eye. Now I'm really close to my monitor at 27 inches. I guess that's sort of a flex on my monitor size maybe, but uh, I've just gotten out of the habit of checking in the top corners because I also don't play games with those as much anymore. But personally, I think it's a very unique idea that works well in this game. I think what's nice about this game is it has some interesting dynamics that separated a little bit from the modernized titles that we're used to. It's an FPS with an enjoyable little twist there. I think the biggest thing for me as far as not enjoying the gameplay is the movement right now. We were able to give some feedback on the game in general and they took that feedback and they're going to do some improvements. But what really threw me off and sort of took me out of the experience is the movement. The game needs a little bit better movement, a little bit more fluid, or also climbing up on some objects. Right now, it's just a boots on the ground all the time. You can go up some stairs, obviously, and there's some rooms up there, but I need to be climbing up on things if this is going to have the dynamic like that. I need to have all different routes of approach if I'm going to be hunting somebody with my pulse. But speaking with them, that's something that they're working on a bit. They just have to get the balance right and the flow right. I think with that increased movement, the flow rate's going to be boosted up a little bit and bring some really intense moments. So hopefully we're going to see some good things at launch. Now, just as a side note here, one of the developers kept mentioning the old Unreal Tournament. They really focused a lot, I think, on that. So a lot of the mechanics here are based on those concepts and maybe flushed out a little bit to be more of a military style of shooter. So when you see some of the mechanics in the game, that's probably why. But gentlemen, and 2% of the ladies that watch this, make sure you head on over and wishlist their game. Again, you're going to want to get into those play tests. You've got to get your hands on this thing and just try that pulse wall hack experience yourself. Join the Discord, follow them on Twitter, stay up to date with everything, and I'll try my best to keep you informed here as well. But look, I'm a man pulled in many different directions lately. So thank you so much for watching, gamers. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. If you didn't, a dislike, subscribe for more. And until the next one, be bold, be courageous, stay tactical.